Are blue spec CDs better sounding? Hmm. All right. Amy in Maryland is writing me and she says, Paul, I wanted to get your opinion of the blue spec CD that Sony released in Japan. They claim that it reduces jitter on the audio. Do you think there is any beneficial difference or any difference at all in the audio of a blue spec CD compared to a regular CD? My husband is a lifelong audiophile with a very good ear for sound and subtle differences. He has an Emotiva rack stereo system with DefTech tower speakers that are very revealing. He is wondering if he should upgrade to the blue spec CDs. Well, let's first talk about what, what is a blue spec CD. We know that compact disc technology is the Red Book standard is 44.1 kilohertz, 16 bits, and whether it's a blue spec CD or an old standard ho-hum CD, they are identical in their format. So what is a blue spec CD? Now, I, I admit I have yet to try one personally, so I'm not going to offer an opinion on sound quality because I just simply I, I don't have one. But I can tell you what it is, and I can give you a guess as to what's going on, and I want to correct one of the things that they talked about. Okay. So a blue spec CD is one where when it was written, when the master was made, they used a blue spec laser. So you've heard of a Blu-ray player? Well, a Blu-ray player has a much has a blue laser and it is a much more a finer, uh, smaller, higher wavelength than a standard CD laser. And so the pits and the lands that, that make up these uh, uh, valleys and peaks that the laser reads, when you cut it, they're much better defined, they're much cleaner and, and, and better recorded. Now, I am no physics expert by any stretch of the imagination, but I can only guess, and from the little bit of reading I did on your behalf, what is better is the error rate. So we have far fewer errors. The reading of it by a standard laser on your CD player is going to have an easier job of reading that data with fewer errors and you'll use less of the, the what they call the CCIR error, error um, reduction uh, schemes. So in that sense you have a good chance that it's going to sound better. Will it reduce jitter? No. Well first off there is no jitter on CDs. CDs don't have jitter because there's no timing information on a CD. A CD is just a series, uh, you know, a spiral series uh, running at about 600 uh, revolutions per minute on a disc, and there's no timing information whatsoever. The timing information is always done afterwards and within the machine. So in the CD player or the CD transport, that's where the clock is generated, and when that clock is generated, that's where the jitter can or can't appear. Now, maybe Sony has figured out that the less work uh, the laser mechanism has to do, some devices are going to inherently have less jitter. Uh, I could almost believe that. I don't know. It would really depend on the device. Like when we built our perfect wave transport, ours had no jitter or very, very low jitter because we had a fixed low jitter clock and we used a buffer scheme to store up all these bits that were coming off the disk and then we spit them out at our leisure with low jitter. Now, very few CD players do that, almost none. And the average CD player just has a built-in clock and it moves up and down, has jitter, depending on the speed of the device, how quickly the data is coming in or not coming in. So I'm going to guess that that claim of low jitter 
lower jitter is eh, maybe suspect. Uh, I, I, I think what I would do is, is just get hubby one of them, have him try it, and see if he can hear a difference. I'd, maybe he can. Maybe they sound better. I, I honestly don't know. But that's, that's what they are. That's how they work. And jitter, lower jitter, does sound better. I kind of doubt that's what you're going to get when you play one of them. Okay, best I got. Thanks. Take it easy. Talk to you tomorrow.